Okay, so we are going to make a production ready voice agent that businesses can put directly on their website so they can take in orders. And we are going to use Vappy for this together with Lovable. And this is a really interesting combination. In Vappy, we can make all the integrations very simple while Lovable gives it a front end and takes care of everything. So it is going to look like a chat bubble on the bottom of a web page. And people can very simply click it and it will basically be the same as calling, but then on the web. Website. And in this use case, we're going to build it for a restaurant, but every use case you can imagine is something you can build with this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a Vappy account. So right here, you can sign up, you can then open your dashboard and right here, you have your overview. And how this works is we can basically configure our AI agent right in Vappy. So when you go to assistance, you can create an assistant right here. You can also go to tools and we can create all different kinds of tools. So I will very shortly get you through the platform so you understand how everything works. So basically what you need to understand is we have assistants and we have tools and an assistant has access to a specific set of tools. So for example, we want our Google Calendar, which is a tool to be connected to our assistant. So right now, if we click on assistants, we can create one right here and we have some quick start examples right here. So we have the appointment scheduler, we can create assistant and that's everything you need to know. We now have our assistant called Riley and right here we have all these options. We have our providers, so different companies, we can then choose different models. We have a first message mode, so who is speaking first? So the assistant speaks first, the assistant waits for user or the assistant speaks first with model generated message. We also have our first message right here. We have our system prompt. And when we scroll down, we have some files that we can add. We then have voice configuration, so different voices. We have a transcriber to get the text of the actual conversation. And we have our tools. And tools is a really interesting one because right here we can very simply connect, for example, our Google Calendar to a voice agent. And this is really huge because this means it takes less time for us to connect our calendar. We have an analysis of, so for example, the summary of a conversation. We can work with structured data and there are a lot of setup options that you can choose from. But right now we actually want to go to the build loop library right here. And we have our prompt that we can start with. So we'll copy paste this prompt into Lovable and Lovable then understands everything it needs to understand about Vappy and how to interact with it. Okay, so right here we have the prompt and it explains everything Lovable needs to understand. So we have the floating chat bubble, which if they click it opens up a dialogue where they can basically just have a conversation with. Hey, so very quickly, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I want to ask you if you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. It's the only thing I ask from you in return for those videos and a lot of more videos like this are in the pipeline. So without further ado, let's get back into the video. And I will not go through this complete prompt because you can do it yourself if you want to. But this basically contains everything Lovable needs to understand when creating an app like this. So for now, let's just copy paste this. Let's go to Lovable. Let's paste it and let's run it. And then we can very simply just see what is still going wrong and iterate based on that. So let's run it. Okay, so it now created the first version. It then asked for us to enable cloud for this project. So it did that as well. It is now creating the table tables and right now it is working on the dashboard and make sure that everything is in place and once this is done we can actually start testing out the complete app so i'm really curious what it comes up with this is always so much fun to have this prompt and then it is just a random guess on if it is going to work and obviously this is the fun behind ai you can use the exact same prompts as i did and love wall can create something completely different okay perfect so we now need to get our vappy api key and we already have this interface which we will change in a bit but right now we can click on this and we see vappy not initialized so we need to go back to vappy we need to go to api keys and right here we need to get our public api key we can copy it we can go back to lovable and say vappy api key let's now wait for this to be completed and now we can test everything out we also need to connect our google calendar with vappy because we want to be able to work with the calendar okay perfect so it finished we can now click here and right now it is connecting Buongiorno. welcome to bella italia i'm marco your personal assistant i can help you place an order or make a reservation perfect what can i do for you today yes yeah, so i want to make a reservation please i want to dine in perfecto i'd be happy to help with your reservation could you please let me know the date time and how many people will be dining with you also may i have a contact number to confirm your booking yeah for sure i want to dine in 
tomorrow, so that's the 9th of November, with five people. Grazie. Just to confirm, you'd like a reservation for five people on November 9th. What time would you like to dine? And may I have your contact number, please? Maybe 7 p.m., please. And then my contact number is 065544. Perfecto. So, we have a reservation for five people on November 9th at 7 p.m. Your contact number is 06554. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, this is perfect. Fantastico. Your reservation is all set. We look forward to welcoming you to Bella Italia. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, this was the first version, and this is already pretty cool, to be honest. This worked very good. It already knew so much on how to have a conversation like this. So I really like that. What we are now going to do is we need to add our calendar to our Vapi account. And this is very simple. Previously, we needed to have an account with Google Cloud Console and then make a client. And this was a lot of setup work. But what we can now do is we can go back to Vapi. You can go to more, go to integrations. And right here, you have all these integrations in place. So we have a lot of different things. We also have 11 labs that we can connect, but a lot of other things as well. We have our model providers, we have our transcriber providers, and we have our tool providers. So also things like make.com, go high level, Slack, Google Calendar, Google Sheets, those are all things that are very easy to connect right now because we can very simply click on connect. It opens up our screen. We can click our account. We can say continue. And we have connected our Google Calendar to Vapi. And right now, everything that we do in Lovable will be able to connect with the integrations that we make here. So this is basically our hub and everything we do in here can be accessed by Lovable. So right here, you can see that we have connected our Google Calendar. We go to tools right here. We can click on create tool. We can go to Google Calendar. We say create event. And then when an event is created, create another tool for check availability needs to be checked. Perfect. So we now added the tools. We can now try it out again. So we can go to Lovable and we can say the following. Hey, so currently we are not using any tools in Vapi. So we want to know if we are correctly calling the tools for, for example, availability checking, but also when we need to make a reservation. So can you please provide me information on if we are actually calling the Vapi tools? We can then use the chat functionality and ask it. Okay, perfect. So you can see right now that we have a problem. We are not using any tools. So what we can now do is we can now basically go to Vapi. We can go to assistance. And right here, we have our default assistant. And what we can now do is we can now scroll down. We can go to tools. We select the tools that we just created and we can then click on publish. You can see here what we are changing. So we can go to next and publish and we can then click on code. And right here, we have the complete configuration. And when working with Lovable, it is all about using examples to provide to Lovable. So Lovable understands exactly what to do. So we can copy the assistant configuration right here. We can go to Lovable and we'll say the following. So we have an example of an assistant right here and this shows the tools that we want to use. So really look at the formatting, use the exact way it is using the tools. So we have the tool IDs and we should use the same ones because those are for the calendar checking for availability and also for making a reservation into our calendar. So please make sure to use those external tool IDs. And right here, you can see that it is already understanding which external tool IDs to use because we already had it in our first initial prompt. But just for clarity, we are just going to add this example of how to create an assistant in Vapi. So Lovable understands even more about the Vapi flow. So we just provided this information and we just send it and then we can test it out again. After that, if we confirm that everything is working, we can actually check availability, then also push it to the calendar. We can then place this bubble on a web page of the actual restaurant. Okay, perfect. So it added the calendar tool IDs and we can now just start testing it out again. Buongiorno. Welcome to Bella Italia. I'm Marco, your personal assistant. I can help you place an order or make a reservation. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I would like to make a reservation for tomorrow, the 9th of November for five people at 9 p.m., please. Perfetto. Your reservation for five people is confirmed for tomorrow, the 9th of November at 9 p.m. We look forward to welcoming you at Bella Italia. If you need to modify or cancel your reservation, just let me know. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So this went really seamless. And as you can see right here, we actually have the reservation. And when we now want to check if everything went correctly, we can go back to Vapi. We can go to the call logs. Right here, we have our last call. We have our logs. We can click on category 
and right here we have tool and we can now check if everything went correctly when we now click on this one for example you can see that we use the availability check it was completed and then we also created an event and indeed it is in my calendar right now so this is already working seamless but now something very important a lot of ai systems they are created and then they fail they have no real use case so how we can now actually make this something valuable for businesses is either connected to a phone number or for now connected to the website directly because when people go to the website they need to look for the phone number and then call it but right now they can just have this conversation right on the website which I think is a very interesting take so what we can now do is we can now publish it right here we publish it to the voice order chat .app. we can go to this page so it is already hosted somewhere it is a public URL which we can just visit but here is something important to understand. When something is hosted publicly, we can actually take this URL and place it on any other website that we want. We can then go to any other website. It can be created on Webflow, WordPress, or Lovable, for example. So in this case, I will use my own website and place it on there. Right now we have this website and we now want another bubble that when opens up, we can actually have this conversation with. Normally this is the restaurant's website, but obviously I don't have a restaurant, so I cannot do that, but I can put it on this one. So how I will do that is say the following. Hey, so um, we want to have in the bottom right, instead of the questions book a call, we want to embed something right there. That is basically another chat bubble that people can click and then they can have a conversation with it. So make a very simple HTML embed with the following URL. We then paste the URL and then we run this and then it will place our lovable app straight into this website. In the prompt loop library, I will put the exact code that you can use to HTML embed something like this. So right here, we have this chat bubble. We can click it and this thing is really annoying me. This pulsing is not it, but we can obviously change this exactly how we want. But for now, let's click this one. Buongiorno. Welcome to Bella Italia. I'm Marco your personal assistant. I can help you place an order or make a reservation. What can I do for you today? I'll create the reservation for you right away. One moment. Your reservation for five people on November 9th at 7 p.m. has been confirmed. Grazie mille. Okay, so this is already really good. The design sucks, I know, but this is really cool that we can just embed it anywhere and it works exactly the same as our Lovable app. If we now go to the calendar, we have this reservation right here. So this is already working. It can answer questions based on all the products that we have, but we can make this exactly how we want. We can tweak the design a bit. So I will now very quickly change the design a bit so that you can see what the actual end product looks like. So we go back to our app and we just say the following. Hey, so we embed this lovable app on another website and currently it looks a bit weird. What we want is our main page should be directly the voice assistant. So that is our main interface. We don't want this welcome to Bella Italia page. It should just be our voice agent page, which also should look really good when embedded in a small width iframe. Okay, perfect. So it has finished. We can now publish it again. So when we go to our website, we can refresh this one. We click this, it directly opens up the assistant. It gets connected and it started to talk. Really understand that using Vapi is a really simple way to connect your voice AI agents to a front end. And I think Vapi is just a really nice platform to work with. So really test this out, go to the build loop library to see all the prompts that I used. I will also make sure that you can copy paste my exact app directly. So you can just copy it, change it for your use case and you have a working voice agent. Thanks for watching my complete video. I really appreciate it. I hope you're now very busy building your own voice agents. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I try to answer all of them. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, please do. I really appreciate it. And if you are subscribed, thanks. I also appreciate it a lot. And I will see you in the next one.